Good afternoon. It's uh, Jeremy. It's Tuesday, December the 19th. And I'm looking today at how to calibrate the RTL SDR using SDR Sharp for uh, a level in DBM. So here's, um, here's the way we're going to do it. Um, I've got a Pluto SDR, which I'm going to use as a signal generator, and it's driven from uh, GNU radio. I've got a schematic in GNU radio, which has a variable gain. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed that into a calibrated signal analyzer, or spectrum analyzer, the signal hound. And we're going to look at it in Spike software. So I'm going to vary the transmit gain. And I'm going to create a table of the transmit gain versus the absolute value of the level in dBm. And then knowing that, I'm going to go into the RTL SDR, and I'm going to look at what the dB full scale is on the SDR, uh, SDR sharp. And that'll give me an idea uh, of the calibration of the RTL. So here's a picture, actually. Uh, whoops. There's a picture of the setup. So I'm running a GNU radio here with a schematic for the uh, Pluto SDR. There's my Pluto SDR. So it's connected by USB to the laptop. It's feeding by an SMA cable into the uh, signal hound spectrum analyzer. So when I'm finished calibrating it versus the attenuator here, attenuator gain, and the level there in dBm, I'm going to move this SMA over to the RTL. There's the RTL there. Uh, and, and we'll see the results. So I'm just looking at the blog post here. There's my schematic I use in uh, GNU radio. I'm using uh, SOPI Pluto Sync for the Pluto SDR. Uh, I've got a variable transmit gain going from 20 to 89. I've uh, got a sample rate of one mega sample per second. Here's an idea of, uh, there's a spike software here and I've got a carrier here uh, at about minus 50 dBm and the gain is 36. So I go through a series of those. There's a little video at the end of this showing you how I did that. There's, um, I took the uh, LoRa transmitter from the previous post, uh, sending packets at 915 megahertz. There's a capture of one of the packets. So it's around a level of minus 45 dBm. That's not the absolute transmit level in the sense that that's the level that's received here, but don't forget it's a wide bandwidth. So really to get the absolute power, if this was a CW carrier, you'd have to integrate under this. So the absolute transmit power is probably something like around minus 40, minus 35, something like that. Uh, that's the same thing in SDR Sharp. And I've got a little video showing that. I've got the persistence on. This is around minus 22 dB full scale. It's not calibrated, but here's the table where we do the calibration. So this is the uh, transmit gain in GNU radio. This is the absolute level I received in um, the signal hound spectrum analyzer. And this is the corresponding received level in dB full scale on the SDR sharp. I set the, SDR, the um, RTL here, the gain at zero. I've also got another column here where I've cranked the gain up to 19.7. These particular entries here, it's saturating. You gotta be careful with the RTL, it overloads uh, quite easily. So that's basically it. So if you look at um, if you look at this packets around minus 45 here, it's about minus 22, minus 23. So you can see that that's about the same. So minus 22 to minus 23 is around here in this in this area here, which is let's say around minus 40. So it's about the same as minus 45. So that's how we do it. So in many cases, we like to know um, with the RTL SDR what the absolute power measurement is uh, using SDR Sharp. <clears throat> so one thing I did in the previous videos, I was looking at LoRa, and LoRa works uh, in my particular case at 915 megahertz. So uh, I have a schematic here from GNU Radio, and what this schematic does, it's kind of like a signal generator. So I set it up for the LoRa frequency of 915 megahertz, and I'm running it here. And what I want to do is I want to calibrate it for this RF gain, let's say from zero to, um, let's say we'll go up to around 60. So I'm feeding the, uh, I'm using a Pluto sync. I'm using the Pluto SDR because it works at that frequency. And I'm going to feed it into the signal hound spectrum analyzer. So I'll get a calibration of absolute dBm versus this level. And then what I'll do is I'll switch it over to the SDR sharp with the RTL. And then I'll be able to calibrate that. And that's kind of the whole objective. So let's go over to um, the SignalHound software. 
and I'll just move this down here. So you can see the process here. Right now the RF gain is set at zero and we're reading around, uh, let's say, minus 85. So if I move it up to, say, uh, plus 10, There's plus 10, I'm getting minus 75. So that's the procedure. So I'm going to do that with the um, signal hound, and then I'm going to switch over to the uh, RTL SDR with SDR sharp. Okay, so what we're looking at here is I did a signal capture using SDR sharp, uh, the baseband IQ recorder, and I recorded several transmit, uh, packets being transmitted by the uh, LoRa transceiver, the 915 megahertz transceiver. So it's Quite interesting to look at the spectrum here, uh, some of the things we can do. So I'm going to run the file now, and I'm going to right-click on here to put the persistence on. So what we can do is we can find out what the maximum uh, transmit level is there. So it looks like it's around, I don't know, from minus 20 to minus 25, something like that. And those are all the packets there. You can also zero in on a particular pat packet. For instance, I can click on the waterfall there and um, you can expand that out. It's kind of neat, that shows you the uh, chirp up and the chirp down, so that's very handy. So that's one of the beauties of doing the uh, signal capture.